Over 10 years ago, some colleagues wanted me to design a soccer ball for a bottle design, by the way, that wanted a soccer ball to be on top of the PET bottle. So I did some research and I found the icosahedron, which is the basic of the soccer ball geometry. And I have implemented this into a 2D curve. So I did some unwrapping, etc. And it was just some data implants and trim body operations required in order to create the geometry. By the way, I'm going to link this file in the description below. This was made in NX8, so every one of you shall be able to open this in order to review the soccer ball construction. Maybe you have an idea of how to solve it better, make it better. This is an old design after my first experience with the software. But it's update stable. You can modify user expressions without problems. This one is just driven by one diameter. Of course it is. To get to the point, this video is not about how to create a soccer ball. It's about how to import DWG or DXF in the latest release of Siemens NX by using the new Sketch Solver. Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Simon from BizLearn. Hi and welcome to another episode of our new tutorial series, NX Sketch Solver Comparison. Today, between NX12 and the latest release, NX1980. Both are open already. I'm just going to close the soccer ball. And you can see two empty models on the left, the latest release, and NX12. I'll first of all do the import in NX12. Below File, Import, AutoCAD. And within here, I have to differ between DWG and DXF. In that case, it's a DWG which I'm going to import to my work part. I'm just going to finish this. And you might realize that importing operation is slightly faster in the latest release compared to NX12. By the way, you will see that later. Some non-times in geometry has been imported with those curves. I'm going to create a sketch and task environment, of course, upon here. And I'm going to import those curves. But first of all, I'm just going to increase this a little bit by using the import operation, which you can find here at existing curves, control A in order to select all curves, I'm just going to apply wire center mouse button. And of course, I want to turn off continuous auto dimensioning. By the way, I was a big fan of <laughs> auto dimensions, as I mentioned already, which are now no more available, you can see sketch needs 73 constraints. There are now two possibilities in order to solve the fully constrained sketch issue in order to fully constrain the sketch. Of course, by the way, non time sim geometry is empty because everything was imported. And now we have time sim geometry. The easiest way in order to get this sketch fully constrained is using auto constrain to enable all options to select all curves and apply. And I'm also going to apply remote constraints. And now there's only one constraint missing, which is of course, the diameter. After two further clicks, you can see the problem is solved. But sketch needs zero constraint is not good is meaning that there's still somehow a problem that some of the constraints might cause problems in the future. So I'm going to test this. And you can see everything was updated well, but still zero constraints is not good, it should be fully constrained by the way. But this is another problem, which I'm not going to discuss today. So I can finish my sketch, the import procedure and sketching procedure is finalized. And I'm going to repeat these steps in the latest release by using the new sketch solver via file, import, AutoCAD. Within here, you don't have to differ between DWG and DXF because as you can see, both can be found at the same time. It's the same file. No preview required. I'm just going to use the center mouse button in order to finish. And now you might realize that this is slightly faster than the import in NX12. Also here, non types of geometry, no problem. I'm going to create a sketch. And here, by the way, you have to be careful. Don't just click OK. 
because then no reference to the datum coordinate system will be created. So you always have to select something and afterwards apply. And also here, I'm going to be using the add curves command, which is, by the way, the same command with a different name. It's not add existing curves, it's add curve. And the behavior is the same as well. Also here, about 73, I don't actually know, 74 movable curves. And the next step would be auto constraint, of course, is, as you can see, as you can imagine, as you also have the experience, no more available. And even if you select something, well, Enix detects possible relations, but it does not create them. All the relations which were remaining here were not detected, were not implemented. I haven't found a solution, therefore, I also haven't seen any kind of direction. So we need a new workaround. And this is the reason why I've mentioned already that comparing NX12 and the new solver, meaning the old solver and the new solver, is quite not fair because in general, if you are using the new solver or if you are creating sketches the way you did it before, you will have problems. And But you also had problems in the past just because maybe of huge sketches, they always cause problems. They, they cost time, calculation time is required. You have a bad overview and some other kind of problems. Finding problem errors is also hard if sketches are too big. And every recommendation, independent from the CAD system, is always to create modular sketches because reusability also is much better. You can reuse a sketch much easier or the chance of reusing it is higher if it's a small sketch. Also, external references shall be avoided within sketches and they can be avoided. The problems which were argued in the comment sections below my videos concerning the new sketch solver, I was unable to reproduce them because I was just following some more modern rules than actually some of you might do. I don't want to judge you and I really don't see what you're doing, so I cannot judge. But I've made the experience as a guitar builder. I'm building guitars. I have a guitar building company. And I'm also doing CNC machining with Siemens NX. And when converting my sketches to the new solver, I didn't have a single issue. And I'm not just doing soccer balls with only one parameter. I'm talking about huge and complex sketches, including splines and including sometimes external references. But therefore, I'm following some, some rules, which I have defined a few years ago. And I was unable to produce a single issue. But this is an issue if you are looking for auto constraint. You don't have to because there is a workaround which was possible before as well as the sketch group. And therefore, you just have to select everything with Control and A. By the way, the filter here is by default set to entire assembly. I'm going to link a video on the upper right concerning this issue because the default shall be within Active Sketch only. And there is a setting in the customer defaults which you can use. I've had a lot of positive feedback concerning this video. It's the most successful video we have ever published. Over 20,000 views within Active Sketch only can be set to default in order to avoid a lot of problems because. When using entire assembly, you might create some relations by mistake, which you don't want. So use within Active Sketch only. And usually this is my default, but after updating the software, which I did last week, somehow it seems to be reset and you can find it within the customer defaults. But have a look at the video. This video is about DWG import. So I'm going to be using Control and A again. Right click my selection and uh, you can see there is no sketch group possibility. So I'm going to do it again. Maybe I'm going to deselect those. Right click. Here it is. New sketch group. It shall be scalable. I'm going to apply this. And still 74 movable curves. But the sketch group is not active. By the way, it should not be active. And now I'm going to create a dimension. And now I'm going to select this dimension. Left click again, and you can see sketch is fully defined. So I think there is maybe some programming 
issue that could be better. But anyway, the problem is solved. The sketch is fully defined. And I'm talking about fully defined. I'm not talking about compared to before to make a fair comparison. Before it was zero constraints left. So it wasn't really properly fully constrained. This is something you have to consider. This solution is better because now the sketch is fully defined by using sketch groups. Do you have experience with the group already? Maybe negative experience? Let me know in the comments below. I would be interested and it helps us to create further content. Thank you for watching the video until now. I appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed yet, I recommend you to do. We are going to upload two videos in the week. Have a nice day. Goodbye.